Not knowing if you're pregnant or not can be so frustrating. If you're in that two-week wait between ovulation and expecting a period, or you're after a fertility treatment like IUI or uh, embryo transfer, and you just got to know, sometimes people will test at home and they're curious, is it wrong? Is it right? When can you test? How accurate is the testing? But really, what could cause a false positive test result and what could cause a false negative test result? If you want to learn more about this, you're going to want to watch this video. In this video, we're going to cover number one, a brief overview of pregnancy testing. Number two, a brief overview of accuracy of pregnancy testing. Number three, what can cause false positive pregnancy test results. And number four, what can cause false negative pregnancy test results. You are going to learn a lot. Buckle up. So number one, brief overview of pregnancy testing. Pregnancy testing is testing for a presence of a hormone called HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. This is a hormone that is made by cells in a developing embryo, and it should really only be positive if you've got an embryo that is making this hormone. A positive pregnancy test really should mean that you're pregnant, and a negative pregnancy test could should mean that you're not pregnant, but sometimes it can get confusing. This HCG hormone can be produced by cells with Within the embryo as early as six days after conception, which is a fertilization between an egg and sperm, but it's usually not able to be picked up in either a blood test or a urine test until about 10 days after conception, typically at the earliest. Urine tests are qualitative. They are yes or no, pregnant, not pregnant. Blood tests are quantitative. So if a blood pregnancy test is positive, you're pregnant, but as the cells divide and the embryo grows and the placenta grows, that pregnancy hormone goes up and up and up. So it can be used to track early pregnancies to show that the pregnancy is continuing to develop. It's quantitative. You can actually get a number. I have another whole video here all about pregnancy testing that goes much more in depth into exactly what the pregnancy test is testing and urine versus blood, accuracy, timing. So watch that video if you want a little bit more detail about the specific topic. Number two, a brief overview of accuracy of pregnancy tests. The closer you test to the timing of your missed period, the more accurate the pregnancy test is going to be, whether it's a home urine test or a blood test in the lab. Most home pregnancy tests quote an accuracy of about 75% when you're testing five days before your missed period and 99% accuracy if you're testing within one or two days of your expected missed period. Remember, a negative pregnancy test, especially if it's done early, you know, after ovulation or way before you're expecting to get your period might just be negative. You could be pregnant, but the pregnancy test just can't pick up that level of hormone yet. So you might want to retest. So the most accurate time to test is about 14 days after ovulation. And if you are having a difficult time figuring out when ovulation is happening or exactly what your cycle is doing, watch my baby making sex video. It's one of my most watched videos here on YouTube to learn all about your cycle and at home testing, physical signs of ovulation and home tests you can do to figure out exactly when you're ovulating. Now, there's lots of reasons that you can have a false positive pregnancy test. So let's get into it. So again, think about the test. Number one, a reason you could get a false positive pregnancy test is that the test is faulty. So if you're, you know, nervous and you really want confirmation, you know, check again with a different test. If you're getting multiple tests that are positive, then probably there's nothing wrong with the actual test itself. You probably pregnant. Number two, you've got to follow the directions on the pregnancy test in that you want to make sure that you put the pregnancy test in the urine for about the time that's recommended. And then also read the test in the time recommended, because especially in the tests where there's like an evaporation line that you're you're comparing lines to a control and um, a, a test result, if you leave it for too long, the actual positive sign can fade away. So I know some people are nervous and they're just like, oh, I don't want to test. So they'll pee on a stick and then put it in the bathroom. And then sometimes they forget about it and they'll come back later and they'll be like, oh, it's negative where really the evaporation line is gone. So follow the directions for your test. Make sure it's not faulty. Make sure it's not expired. Make sure that you're storing it correctly, like basically room temperature. So if you're getting a test result that you don't think is right, like just check again. 
So the third reason that you could get a false positive pregnancy test is due to medication. So you're not actually pregnant, but the medication that you're taking can actually make you have a false positive pregnancy test result. Um, some prescription medications like antipsychotics or medications for Parkinson's disease can sometimes cause false positive pregnancy tests. But the most common medication that gives a false positive pregnancy test is fertility treatment medication itself. So one of the most common medications that we give is a trigger shot or an HCG shot in order to trigger ovulation or to trigger the final maturation of the eggs before an intrauterine insemination or before an egg retrieval. And so you're actually giving HCG. So if you take a home pregnancy test after taking that medication, you will get a positive pregnancy test because that medication is in your system, but you're not really pregnant. And that medication can actually stay in your system for up to 10 days after taking it. Most of the time it's cleared from the body after seven days. So if you're anxiously awaiting a pregnancy test at the clinic for fertility treatment, and it's been seven days after your trigger shot and you get a positive pregnancy test, it, it could be real, but just keep checking because if you're seeing that it's fading or getting lighter, it could really just be still that HCG medication that's clearing out of your system. The fourth reason you can get a false positive pregnancy test is that you could be pregnant, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a healthy pregnancy. So I know it's a little bit of a misnomer, like a positive pregnancy test from the hormone that is in the embryo that is creating a positive pregnancy test, you are pregnant. But what I'm trying to say is just because you're pregnant, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a baby nine months later. I know that's really hard, but um, there's all different types of pregnancy complications. You know, a miscarriage could occur, ectopic pregnancy. You definitely have a positive pregnancy test, but that pregnancy has implanted outside of the uterus and that's considered an, an urgent medical situation. You want to, you know, if you're having pain, if you're having spotting, you want to talk to your doctor about getting an evaluation. A molar pregnancy is a first trimester pregnancy complication where it's a genetic issue and you are pregnant, the cells are dividing, but it is not a healthy pregnancy. It's not even an embryo that's developing. This is um, a pregnancy complication that needs to be addressed medically. It's very rare, but that's something that could happen. So in these cases, you you are pregnant, but it's not necessarily a healthy pregnancy. So I just you know kind of want to warn a little bit about the pregnancy test can be used to monitor early pregnancy pregnancies until you get to the point where you can actually do an ultrasound. If you do an ultrasound and you can see that the pregnancy is developing inside the uterus, you know it's not an ectopic pregnancy, okay? Number five reason that you could get a false positive pregnancy test is the rare medical conditions. So your body is actually making HCG hormone, but it's not coming from an embryo or pregnancy tissue. These include, number one, some pituitary gland disorders. Number two, rarely cancer, like some ovarian cancers actually make HCG hormone. And number three, some kidney and urinary tract diseases can actually produce the HCG hormone. So what could cause a false negative pregnancy test? How could you be pregnant? How could this hormone that you're testing for be present in your body, but the test is negative? Well, there's really two main things. Number one, the test could be faulty. And number two, it could just be too early. So number one, you know, the test has to be accurate. Check the expiration date. If you are getting a negative pregnancy test, but you really feel like you're probably pregnant, check a different brand, get a different lot number. You know, sometimes there's issues in manufacturing. So if you want to be sure, check again, use a different pregnancy test. Number two, you could just be testing too early. So it could be that you're actually pregnant, but the pregnancy test just isn't able to pick up such a low level of the hormone. So wait a couple of days and test again. Listen, if you are getting negative pregnancy tests, you really think that you're pregnant, you can also call your doctor. You could ask for a blood test to get a little bit more information and just test in a different way. So in summary, I know it's so hard to wait that two week wait. I've got another video here on YouTube all about the two week wait and how to manage it, how to distract yourself, how to take care of yourself. You know, it's such a hard time and doing early pregnancy tests are really common and not knowing if it's right or wrong is really, really hard, really important. And I just want you to understand why the tests could be wrong 
falsely positive, falsely negative. The most common reason the test is negative and you and you really are pregnant is that you're testing too early, so retest. The most common reason a pregnancy test would be positive, but it's not a healthy pregnancy, is that it's an early pregnancy complication. And the second most common reason is really, you know, it's a part of a fertility treatment to take HCG, and that can stay in your system after you take that trigger shot. And so you're seeing this positive pregnancy test, but it's not really from a pregnancy. It's from that medication that's trying to clear your system. Remember, when in doubt with pregnancy testing, retest. And if you have questions, you know, don't make assumptions. Call your doctor, get retested, get your questions answered, advocate for your care. I hope you learned something from this video. I love educating. I educate in lots of different ways. You can follow my website. You can see me on Instagram. TikTok is fun. But here you're going to get long form videos with a lot of detailed education. So I love doing this. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Subscribe to my channel so you can get my weekly video and stick around for more learning.